first to you, Akashdeep uh, Sabir. Uh, are you hopeful after the minister's statement that, you know, hopefully it will have some effect and also uh, Pathan has proven that the boycott calls, uh, at least for Pathan, did not mean anything? Yes, Gargi, I am uh, very hopeful. I was hopeful the day, eventually a few days back, I think, when Mr. Modi had to say the same thing uh, prior to uh, the INB minister. And I think that uh, set the whole uh, tone for uh, those interested in the boycott to just bring it down and eventually a lot of them decided not to go ahead with the boycott, like the Vishwa Hindu Parishad and a couple of other organizations with whom we've had uh, debates also where they were fighting that it should be banned and stuff like that. It is, uh, uh, it's sad that we have to be hopeful because such things should never have happened in the first place, Gargi. Uh, you know, if, if we talk about media and entertainment, you'll be really surprised to know that by 2025-26, the Indian government's estimate is that this industry will be worth four and a half lakh crores. We still don't have a dedicated ministry and a dedicated minister for an industry as big as this. You know, tourism does about 10, 20,000 crores, 30,000 crores and has a ombudsman, rules, regulations, dedicated ministry, efforts to promote, nothing like that for media and entertainment. And like you said in your initial statement, uh, we export a lot of soft power, our television shows, our OTT shows, our films, our stage shows. Uh, so much uh, from the uh, Indian creators is lapped up all over the world, not only by the Indian diaspora living there, but also by locals now gradually are getting to like and understand Indian cinema, pan-India. And uh, I think this should be taken up more seriously. I think it's time to call it a full-fledged industry. Give us banking, give us rules, regulations, keep an ombudsman. Uh, and probably uh, realize the importance of this soft power that India generates, as rightly said by Anurag Thakurji.